Okay, we're going to make a little movie on how to um, use Windows Movie Maker. So the first thing we want to do is open it up. So go just over to your start area here and you should have Windows Live Movie Maker somewhere. Click on that. And you'll come up with these windows here. Some of our buttons are the top we need to think about. There's a home button where we can add the videos, webcam video, snapshot, etc. and eventually the one that we'll need to save the movie. Um, so the first thing we want to do is add some videos some photos. You can drag and drop into this area if you want or you can just click on this button here and you'll find a movie. Go to a folder that you have for uh, with uh, movies in it. Uh, I'm going to use this one just for a demo. We'll open it up and there it is there and you can see that it'll play. Here it goes. Okay. So I don't want all that stuff at the beginning, so what I want to do is actually trim it to the point that I want. So go up to the Edit button of Video Tools and select Trim Tool. So um, what we'll do is you can either set them here, if you know the times, but it's a lot easier just to move your bars here. So if I set them from, we'll just do the Seal section. and more seals. Now that's not quite accurate enough so what we might do is you click on this one then you can use your right arrow to move it frame by frame and your left arrow to get it exactly where you want. So I'll just go back one more frame from that do the same click on here just move it back so we get it a little bit more accurate. There's the birds, we just want the seals, that's the first frame of that and that's the area that we will now have as our movie. So I'll save that, save trim. All good. Now it should play just that section. Okay, there it is there. Now, what we do is go to our home button, then save movie, and we'll save it as test movie or test trim. I'll save it there. Yes, I've already got one, so I'll just play, replace that little section. It won't take long to save. And that's it. So we can just play our little movie in Windows Movie Player. And that's our little example that works quite well. Just get rid of that. Okay, we'll just shut this one here. Uh, no, we don't want to save this project. And that's it.